what's up world my name is D Rock, and uh, today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a lead synth kind of like um, uh, LAX or uh, barely alive uh, I think Dylan Francis might use something kind of similar to this as well uh, but yeah it's a basic um, sawtooth with a bunch of reverb but it's super clean so uh, yeah let's just dive right into it um, and here the as most of my tutorials will be, the basis is a Thor, and uh, combine it right off the bat. Sweet. And we've already got the Sawtooth Wave loaded up right off the bat, which is nice. You can bump up the filter frequency, or you could probably just turn it off, actually. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and then turn the sustain all the way up on the amp envelope. Uh, let's do this uh, mono retrig. And that's where we're at so far. So right off the bat, it's pretty simple. It's for, for within inside the Thor, it's pretty simple. Uh, the majority of this sound is going to be processing. Oh, I lied. Uh, let's turn on the hard clip shaper. Gives it a little extra high end content um, that we will need for this sound. So uh, first device is going to be a scream. I'm actually going to leave it on overdrive. I'm going to turn down the drive amount a little bit. P1, we're going to turn all the way up. That way we get a bit a bit more high end out of it. Uh, you can leave uh, P2 to its default. You might want to turn up just a tiny bit. It gives you a few extra mids there. Next will be an equalizer. First and foremost, chop out the extreme lows. Because typically you're going to use this uh, over on top of, um, well, for a lot of like the LAX songs, think like, uh, what's that song? Step two. Um, uh, he's just got like a, a funky 808 going on underneath it. It's some, it's some crazy sub bass thing. Uh, if you want to, you can. Depending on your key, you can kind of find what does it, what sounds gross in like the mids, low mids in that area. For, this, for the sake of this one, we'll pretend that we're working in like a, I don't know, E minor. And we can chop out that that little guy for, for the time being. Next, uh, a unison. Just to add a tiny bit of width to it. With a little bit of extra fuzz, I guess. Even though it's not quite fuzz, it's more that chorusy sound. Uh, and then a compressor. You can pump the input gain a little bit. Drop the threshold, bring down the release a bit. Something like this, just to kind of tame it a little bit. It'll give it a little boost in the uh, at the start of the sound before it before it clamps down. All right, so now here's like the uh, here's kind of the big thing with this. You can close that up for now. Uh, let's uh, call this lead. Let's create a parallel channel for this. So now we have have a separate channel uh, which uh, is running directly to that. Except we're not gonna route that immediately. We're gonna create a stereo merger splitter. Or an audio merger splitter, sorry, spider. Well. Um except we don't want it inside of there. We're gonna want it something like that. Uh cool. So parallel channel out from the from your lead channel into the uh, splitter. And have one going to the input and the second going to the dynamic sidechain input of of our um, parallel channel which for this we can call this verb uh, the big benefit of using this um, well there's kind of there's kind of the two benefits for this first and foremost we're going to um, high pass it going in and then uh, pretty significant amount uh, and then we'll throw a verb on it 
Next, uh, as you saw, we had the splitter going to the sidechain input for this. Uh, in this case, we're going to activate the compressor on the mix channel, bump up the ratio to about three o'clock, turn down the threshold to about nine o'clock. We're gonna have fast attack on and turn down the release to about um, nine, about nine o'clock as well. So what this does is uh, while our main lead is playing, it's gonna duck the reverb out of the way for it. For it. That way we can have something that's super reverby, but if we're playing a lot of notes, the reverb won't wash it out. You know, and uh, for these sounds like uh, LAX, Barely Alive, in the song Scoop, uh, then even like like I said, uh, uh, what's his face, D Dylan Francis, um, a lot of that stuff has a bunch of reverb on it, but it's super clean. And uh, within reason, at least, this is kind of how I how I uh, achieve this sound. Um, so yeah, that's that's the basic gist of this sound. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop a comment. Um, if you have any any uh, requests for specific sounds, once again, drop a comment, send me a message, something like that, and I will try and I will try and um, figure out how to make that sound and then show you guys. So uh, yeah, I hope you learned something, and I will catch you next time.